Hey, this is Ernesto, and today I'm showing you my four favorite tape plugins. In this video, I'll show you how each plugin sounds at subtle and more extreme settings. I'll also show you some unique features for each plugin, but to keep the video brief, I'm not gonna go too in depth on any one of them. Let's start this off with a free tape plugin, which is Take with Set 2 from Kalem Audio. Tape Cassette 2 is a free audio plugin that gives you the warmth, character, and noise of an old tape cassette. If you want to get all lo-fi and have a more obvious extreme effect, bring in the wow and flutter knobs. With something of the free plugin, I expect it to be good at one thing. And what this plugin is good at is giving you that lo-fi fill in a really quick and accessible way. Now remember this plugin is free, and if you want to grab it, just click the link down below. All right, my second favorite tape plugin is OCS45 from Oversampled. OCS45 is a cassette simulation plugin that can add a vintage feel to your sounds. It offers four different cassette models to choose from. It also has five different distortion models if you want to try to dirty up your cassette. One thing you'll find in a lot of cassette plugins is a wow and flutter setting. This emulates that pitch warble that you're probably very familiar with. In OCS45, that wow and flutter is visualized quite nicely to help you dial in that perfect imperfection. I feel like this cassette plugin excels at being in effect rather than replicating that authentic, subtle feel of tape, which is totally fine. I just want to let you know what I think you can expect from it. One of the best things about this plugin is that it's really cheap. At full price, it's $19 US. And if you want to learn more, just click the link down below. All right, let's talk about my third favorite tape plugin, which is Tape from Baby Audio. When developing tape, Baby Audio, they use AI to come up with their tape emulation. And as a result, they claim that this plugin gives you the true warmth and behavior of analog tape. Whether that's all true, I'm not really sure. I just know that I like the way it makes things sound. If you want to get the character of tape without distortion, try setting the input to negative values. Or you can push tape to extreme levels in two ways. First is by switching it to hot mode. Or you can push the output knob to high levels. It won't clip, and instead it'll give you that compression, saturation, distortion that tape likes to give. If you want to see a fun trick, you can get a flanging type effect. Just set the mix to 50, and then set the wear to a high amount. You can even try doubling up the tape plugin to push that effect even more. At full price, uh, tape is $69 US, and you can click the link below to learn more about it. And before I forget, if you found this video helpful so far, please let me know by liking it. Whenever you like one of these videos, it helps the channel a whole lot. Thanks. Okay, I probably shouldn't be saying this, but I saved the best for last. At least it's my favorite cassette plugin to use, and that's Cassette from Wave Factory. You'll see that there are four different tape models with their own frequency responses and flavors of compression and saturation. You also have three different tape player models, which I really, really like. You can get that subtle warmth from the Pro Deck, or it can be more obvious with the Home or Micro Decks. Some of my favorite knobs on the front panel are the Erasers knob, which simulates the dullness that occurs when you erase and rewrite over tape. And then you have the Stability knob, which is great at giving you some more wow and flutter. And on the advanced panels, there's some great controls I really want to show you. Real quick in the upper right panel, this is related to the stability knob. If you want the stability knob to give you more wow and flutter, then adjust the sliders here. In the bottom right panel, that corresponds to the artifacts knob. And one of my favorite sliders here is a random snap. This gives you some random but interesting pitch snaps. And let's say you want to increase the effect that this plugin is having. Instead of doubling or tripling the plugin in your effects chain, you can just slide this re cassette slider to multiply what cassette is doing. If you want cassette, which I hope you do, you can pick it up at full price for 59 US dollars. You can also try out a demo by clicking the link below. And those are my four favorite tape plugins. If you're enjoying what you're learning, please like and subscribe. It helps other music makers find this channel. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Later.